How about an even better way to get around Microsoft's minimum system requirements for installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware? This is probably the best method I've come across so far. In this demo, I'll show you yet another method for a clean installation of Windows 11 on a PC that doesn't meet the official minimum system requirements. So whether your PC doesn't have enough memory, disk space, or maybe you don't have a TPM chip and a UE a 5 BIOS with secure boot, well this method has you covered and there's no quirky hacks involved. There's also an added bonus in that you won't need to answer any of those privacy questions during the out of box mini setup. It just skips those questions but turns all of the privacy stuff off for you. It also reinstates the option of being able to create a local user account, although you will still need to disconnect from the internet to do this. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you a comparison of the normal Windows 11 out of box mini setup compared to the mini setup of the Windows 11 that we're going to install now. OK, let's get started. This method is as simple as taking your Windows 11 ISO file and using a utility called Rufus to create the Windows 11 installation media. If you've never heard of Rufus before, it's a great little utility which lets you create bootable USB media from an ISO file. So for example, if you download a Linux ISO, you could use Rufus to make a bootable installation onto a USB flash drive. And Rufus has always been able to create USB media for Windows, including Windows 11. But as of version 3.19, it also has some extra features if you're creating media specifically for Windows 11. But first, we need a Windows 11 ISO file. And if you don't already have that, we can head over to Google and search for download Windows 11 ISO. We'll go directly to Microsoft's website. You want to skip past the installation assistant and the installation media. We want to go directly to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Select Windows 11, we'll click on download, choose a region, and then click on the download link. So that's going to download the Windows 11 ISO file to my download folder. So that's my Windows 11 ISO file downloaded. We now need to download the Rufus utility, so I'm just again going to go to Google and search for download Rufus. Should be the first search result in the list. Let's go ahead and click the link. We're on the Rufus website. Let's scroll down. Latest version as of recording this video is 3.19, which is the first version to implement these Windows 11 tweaks. Let's go ahead and click the link to download. It's a very small file, so should download very quickly. We'll open that up. At this point, you need to insert your USB flash drive into your PC, and then we can run the Rufus utility. So at the top here, it shows you which USB flash drive is selected. So if you do have more than one connected at the time, just make sure you select the right one. We then need to select the ISO file that we downloaded earlier. So I'm just going to point it to my Windows 11 ISO. We can then leave all the other options as their defaults and then click on Start. And this is where it asks you about the Windows 11 tweaks. So we can check the box to say remove requirement for secure boot and TPM. We can also say let's remove the requirement for 4 gig of RAM and the minimum of 64 gig storage. And we can also check the box to say let's disable data collection and skip all the privacy questions. So during the out of box setup, it won't prompt you to answer any of the privacy questions, but it will set them all to off. So I'm going to select all three options and click OK. I get this message to say my USB flash drive is in use. You probably won't get that. I'm just going to click on yes. It gives you a little warning to say that your USB flash drive is going to be completely wiped. I'm OK with that. Let's go. It's then going to copy that ISO file to your USB flash drive. OK, that's my USB installation media created. Let's go ahead and install Windows 11. OK, so I've just installed Windows 11 up to the point of the out-of-box experience to two separate machines. The one on the left meets Microsoft system requirements and has been installed from an unmodified Windows 11 ISO file. The PC on the right has been deliberately configured with low-spec hardware so it doesn't meet the minimum system requirements. It only has 3GB of RAM, a 40GB hard disk, no TPM chip, it has a regular BIOS instead of a UEFI BIOS, 
and it doesn't support secure boot. And this one was installed with the ISO file that was created with Rufus. Okay, so I'm just going to skip through the out-of-box experience on these machines. We'll start with the one on the left. This one currently has internet access. This is the official Windows 11 ISO on um, official specs. Choose our language and regions. There wasn't any point in me disconnecting this one from the internet because it won't let you go past without having an internet connection or uh, using a Microsoft account. I'm going to skip giving the PC a name. I'm going to say set up for personal use. So it's forcing me to use a Microsoft account here. Now there is a separate hack that's been around for a while where if you try and sign in with an email account called no at thank you.com and then type an invalid password it says oops something went wrong we can then click on next and it then lets you create a local account So this now is going to ask us all the privacy questions as it normally would. You've got to step through and say no to all of them. That's just finishing off the out of box experience. Let's go over to the right hand side PC. This is the one with below minimum system requirements and it is the one that was installed with the Rufus created media. You still need to disconnect from the internet if you want to get past the, the Microsoft account. I'm just going to skip through the language. And then immediately it just says I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. And it will then let us create the local account. And there we are, you can see that that one didn't ask for any privacy questions at all, but it will set them all to off. And there we are, Windows 11 has been installed on a PC that falls well below Microsoft's minimum specifications. So if we take a look at the specs, we can see that there's only three gigabytes of memory installed. If we take a look at the size of the hard disk, we can see that that is only 40 gigabytes in size. And if we take a look in device manager, you'll be able to see that this is the old style BIOS. Uh, it's got old COM ports and there's no TPM chip present, whereas if we go across to the, the higher spec machine, we can see in Device Manager that there is a TPM chip there. So I think that could be the best way to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, thanks to Rufus. Hopefully you found that useful. Leave a comment below if you've got any questions, comments or feedback. And that just leaves me to say thanks for watching and bye for now.